Maybe their parents would help their chocobo children if you weren't off riding them all the time. Okay, I'll give you that one. That was excellent work. <clears throat> well, this doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? <sighs> the meter's going crazy. Here we go. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> <clears throat> but that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. Mm. One second, guys. <coughs> there we go. The fallow life spring flickers with a dim light as if frightened. Interesting. Interesting term for that. <coughs> Just south of a tower. Um... Oh, dude, wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, okay. So it's actually northeast of a tower. So I think that's the thing we're looking at. Okay. down here or is it up here where i'm trying to like ascertain where those two dots are <clears throat> there's two dots straight out and there's two dots on the right side of it and it makes like a triangle so i think it's like here i think it's like right in here let's go check i think it's like right in there. <clears throat> Wolf says it took me like 20 minutes to figure out the paper was upside down well i mean the giveaway is in the top left the giveaways in the top left. So you can see there's like a little compass. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's go. <clears throat> Is this a replay video? Yes. Something isn't right here. Be careful. How you like that? That it? Here I go. This calls for it. Wanna beg for mercy? Now with extra. Someone needs. Oh, I got it. Nice. <laughs> How you like this? Wanna beg for mercy? It's fine. Okay. Here I go. Yeah. Now you're in for it. You need to chill. How you like this? Huh? I'm unstoppable. 
He's a stock like that. That's that. I think I left the one on the door for too long. You got this. All in a day's work. We weren't fast enough. Pouting about it won't help anyone, Nanaki. Only one life spring remains. You must focus. Oh. So I wonder what we lost by not doing that perfectly anymore. If anything. Huh. This is interesting. Bad ending. Yeah, apparently. This actually really sucks. I wonder if I should try to reload. Just a bit of lore? Okay. South of the Mughal area. He cover. Oh, no, no. Okay, there we go. That would have been hilarious. Uh, it's directly south of the Mughal area. So, here. I won't get the Bugenhagen romance at Golden Saucer now. No! I need to Bugenhof Hugenhof. <sighs> Um, I need to be like on the ground. You have to go across. <clears throat> Dan just rolled credits on Dragon's Dama 2. Awesome, dude. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, apparently we're not far from the ending if I wanted to just shoot to it. But I've got some more stuff I want to do before we, we wrap that game up. But we're getting close. We're absolutely getting close. Yeah, I should be able to just go up here and then, and then cut to the right. Did I miss that last time? Maybe. I think I think I'm I think I'm not reading this properly. Yeah, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's where I thought it was. So we can't go up. So it has to be below. Okay. I'm not far from the point of no return, but I'm still far from the ending. Oh, good. Hey, the longer the better. Dude. The longer the better. I'm loving my Looks time. like it's time for a drink. Man, it really looks like it's right there. Oh, maybe over here. Uh, there it is, right there.
Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. <clears throat> See, we got. <clears throat> Hmm. Cloud, the Marco meter, if you would. Oh, my word! We'll handle these guys. Get back. Okay. Oh, bring it home. Let's do this. <laughs> Fuck all right. <laughs> Too bad. The subspecies of insectoid chimera that adapted to live in arid environments. They employ various bug like methods to trap their prey, from dazing them with butterfly dust to ensnaring them in spider silk. Exploit their elemental weakness with magic attacks to protect. Deal with that. You won't regret this. You need to chill. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Alright! Watch and learn! <laughs> one shot at a time! Can you just walk over like one <laughs> shot, Yuffie? <laughs> Want some more? Got some fight left in you. Still doing it. What you ain't getting out of this one? Got a whole heap of land with your name on it. No. <laughs> Suck on this! <laughs> Suck on this! Oh. Suck on this! I'm fired up and ready to go! I've lived through worse! Don't stop now! I live for this shit right here! Give them hell! Taking over. <laughs> Don't overdo Don't it. Don't let me down. Need my help, do you? I'm down on you. Hang back. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Perhaps I am getting too old for this. <sighs> my point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts. I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. What's wrong with the life springs? Life springs are fonts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, Never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. What are the weapons? Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. When the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. Mm. In the <clears throat> grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, hey, Sirvani. the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play 
are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted to not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh, now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the veil. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your raid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the veil on my own. See ya! Dude, I'm on a floating ball thing. Damn. This is awesome. Alright. Uh, let's see. I love seeing all that gray. Oh, feels good, man. Feels good, man. Uh, let's go here. You see that? The planet is guided. The planet guided you to our store. Huh? All born. Mm. Super Mass Effect. Uh, Super Mass Effect okay, vibes on those stores. This is what I, I like it. Guardian of the Veil. Are all the other quests done? Oh, I think so. Yeah, they're all done. Cool. Have you heard about Avalanche's crimes? Everything we have is a hit. Oh, hello. Heading out. Each day we share with mm -hmm. Come get a talisman and... We must live in a world. Huh? Hi. Is he okay? Oh, good. Nanaki. <clears throat> we just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. No, Appreciate sir. it. Just uh, be careful out there. <clears throat> okay, track down the geek. I still can't get used to Red's voice. Me either, dude. I, I wish. We, I wish. You know what? I think it would have been awesome if we had the ch the option to change his voice back. Like at one point, if Red asked you, he's like, "Do you want me to use my old voice or my new voice?" You're like, ah, "I'd like you to use your old voice." Thanks. That's the place. Come on. Does that mean? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Tis him, Seto. What? I'm not oh. Seto. I'm. Both <clears throat> you think we shall be fooled again? Undying is our enmity. Here we shall have our revenge. Bro, why is your head ghosty but your body zombie? It's like you couldn't decide on what kind of weird undead thing you wanted to be, so you just went with both. Cool. That works, I guess, but you want. Multi dead. I like that. Yes, that. Multi dead. Need a rest? <laughs> You're one to beg for mercy. Get lost. Me. Smack a pair to feel the wrath of Blue Tide. We will not be denied. What now? We follow.
Rude. Maybe you already got it. Perfect. This place shall be your grave. Yeah. Ah. Got you now. How you like this? Yeah. Just you. Ah. This calls for more Yuffie. Uh. So much damage. Wanna beg for mercy? Dude, I love it. It'd be so much fun. Such vessels cannot Is DD uh, 2 finished? No, more tomorrow morning. Wait, what is Ukal saying? Dad, I have been following Ko's playthrough. Did you already do the Chocobo side quest? Am I missing something? Oh, oh, you mean the the glide through the rings side quest? Oh. Yeah, that was that was quick. I think we kind of, we did it like first. You are no match for us. <laughs> now with extra beguiling ninjas. Kind of pay. Wow, we're getting our ass hit. Hit, how you like that? No more. My dear. Yeah, I'll do it. Do we have provoke on Barrett? I don't. I think we may have taken it off because if we do, it's complete ass. Let's turn this around. You're up. It's on you. Why is it always gonna be me? Gotcha. Here I go. Got you now. This calls for more Yuffie. Here I go. He holds the best kept ninja secret. Doppelganger the doppelganger. I want five Yuffies. Nay, I want ten of them. No way. No freaking way. Come on now. Up and at him. You guys are actually a little, uh... A little beefy. Ta-da! How you like this? Good to go? Give them hell! My turn. No. Oh. Here we go. Now you're one stop lovering shop. You're not you shit. Taking over. Have fun. Have fun. I don't know why, but Alexander reminds me of like a Warhammer 40k mech. I love it. Let's do this. I'll end this. Now. You're going down. Gotcha. Go on. Get ready. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, 
hang on. You guys have it all wrong. Silence, Seto. We beseeched your aid, begged you to recover the black materia. You would bring us salvation. Uh, what? I never agreed to that. Do not feign ignorance, Seto. <laughs> I got this. Allow me. A large herbivorous beast that has been possessed by the spirit of the Gi, highly aggressive and shrouded in a scarlet miasma, it bellows in pain and anger. Automatically becomes pressure after using certain attacks and periodically cast shield or reflect. It will begin to heal itself and concentrate when its stagger gauge gets high, but this can be interrupted by hitting it. Kind of like the normal one with three of three powerful offensive points. Okay. Deal with that. You won't regret this. This club works. My get off. Just run. Now with extra beguiling ninjas. Don't die. Just cut. Did he heal up while I was doing all this other stuff? I think he did. Some more? Bang, bang. Special delivery. Come on. What? Seto, I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? About you? Your father. I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? Who are you? Are you freaking aliens? How did you get here? Do you have a spaceship? Can I have it? I mean, I guess we'll ask about his dad. Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone. That he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though we had braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. We were gonna fight him. But dude had... Awesome hair. He was a beautiful creature in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity that we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. I think that's what a lot of people thought about me at GDC when I went there, to be honest. 
I mean, I want to fight this guy, but look at his hair. Oh, what a resplendent mate. Hmm. I think those those two words came up a lot. Yeah. What's the geese desire? We desire the return of our black materia and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, yet his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him, only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. Seto's betrayal. One by one, our arrows found their mark, yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. Was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. Finally, at long last, and thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. Meanwhile, one of them looks at the other and be like, Brother, do you feel some kind of deja vu here? No, I'm sure he'll bring it this time. Like, totally sure. This one sounds serious. All right, dude. I mean, okay. <clears throat> you sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And <clears throat> I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone, if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia. And we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it. Not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm going to find a way to release them from their suffering. There's got to be an answer out there somewhere. And I'm not going to stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours, and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Long has it been since I've spent this much time out and about. I Chat? just head home and... Am I done with Cosmo Canyon? Rest these bones. Damn, look at that. Another one in the bag, dude. Another one in the bag. Bada boom. Mine's the Chadley stuff. We do have Chadley stuff to do. Well, guys, it's been fun! This is a great, great stopping point today. I don't want to start the main story quite yet, and I gotta go pretty soon, so we'll go ahead and call it here. Chad, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, we do have an hour and a half left, so I will go ahead and kick you over to uh, to Pasco if you want to hang out with an hour and a half. Uh, with the community at the end of the day. I will be back as live code this evening, probably for some, uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing some Dragon's Dogma 2. 
but uh maybe something else we'll see i'm not sure it's gonna be it's gonna be fun but anyway thank you so much for being here i'll be back soon appreciate your time and uh see you tonight